Iga Swiatek versus Victoria Azarenka going for her second bagel on the year, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Iga Swiatek came into this match with six breadsticks and one bagel on the year. The world's ranked number one, though. However, ladies and gentlemen, if you follow the channel right now, if the WTA final started today, Iga Swiatek would not be able to defend her championship. That's right. She's ranked ninth in the live rankings for the race towards the finals. Number one, we all know Arena Sabalenka. Number two is Queen Win. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And then it starts to get a little chaotic from there. Elena Rebecca in a number three. Elena Ostapenko's in there. Coco's number five. But ladies and gentlemen, what about this match? Taking on Vika, who looked really good against Ostapenko. Ostapenko could have been the spoiler for my future Iga Swiatek to win this tournament and repeat as champion. But no, Vika took her out and Iga Swiatek would wave to the fans and she would also wave thank you as she leaves this match victorious. She served well, guys. For the most part, she got 64% of her first serves in play. She won 76% of those. Five for six on breakpoint opportunities, while Vika, the world's ranked 31st, two double faults. She lost 50% of her first serves, and for most of the match, lost about 45% of her second serves. Iga Sviantec, quick counterpunching all match long, taking Victoria Azarenka deep rushing, speeding her up on the back foot. Victoria tried to slow the pace down, but no luck. No luck at all. Is Iga Swiatek, the world's number one, is victorious. Who is next? Look at this forehand, guys. It's one of the most feared shots in the woman. Unbelievable. That's just too darn good. Who's next for Iga Swiatek? She's going to take on the winner of Naomi Osaka, Karolina Pliskova. Pliskova has defeated Osaka four times. Will she take on Pliskova? Stay tuned. We'll see.